today we are going to learn how to backup active directory database okay so uh, we have inbuilt feature called windows server backup okay on windows server os okay so if you open server manager console and if you click on tools you will get this here windows server backup okay once you click here it will open windows server backup console okay if you are looking looking at this message backup your important files applications or entire server to locally attached device or network share using windows server backup okay windows server backup is not installed okay uh see guys if you are backing up your active directory database first time then <clears throat> you should have backup server feature installed on your active directory server that means domain controller okay so i have logged into my domain controller this is my domain controller where i have opened windows server backup console okay so now here i am going to install windows server backup feature see here the message is showing windows server backup is not installed on this computer so we will have to install that feature just click on add roles and features click on next 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 see here we have selected the local computer only my server name is srv dc001 next if you click on next here under the features you will get that windows backup windows server backup okay you just have to select this checkbox and click on next install okay once you install this feature you don't need to reboot your machine you don't need to reboot your server you can directly start your backup by using windows server backup tool okay so <clears throat> by using uh, inbuilt windows server backup feature you can backup windows uh, server booting boot files then uh, system state database then uh, if you want to backup any folder or any kind of file then you can backup using this feature okay you don't need to install any third party backup software okay click on close now i have installed successfully okay so just go again on the tools open sir windows server backup feature see that message is vanished okay so now what do you need to do just click on local backup here at the right pane you can see two options actually there are three options first is for scheduling backups second is one for backup once and third one is for recover means if you have you want to restore any kind of files or database then you can select third option okay and second option is if you have any kind of activity on this server and that time you want to backup any kind of data then you can select second option and the first option is for scheduling backup okay without any manual intervention you can schedule your backup you can say uh, at the week weekend uh, the active directory database should be backed up or any kind of data should be backed up then you can schedule backup by using or selecting first option backup schedule okay so now just let me check if i have sufficient space see i don't have sufficient space to start backup so what i will do i will create additional drive on this server okay just let me create additional drive so i have installed this virtual machine on oracle virtual machine 
that is a virtual box software okay so this is my virtual machine if I click on setting so here under the storage oh this option is not enabled let me just cancel and minimize this close this and reboot uh, let me just shut down this machine what I will do I will execute stop computer command so now system will get shut down and now let me just add additional drive on this server for backup purpose okay click on add new storage hard drive so you want to add so here only I am going to add one sec create create click on create VDI dynamically allocated okay that is okay I just want to have 15 GB of space to backup Active Directory database click on create select this one see SRV 001 underscore 1 this is the new one and showing not attached select that one and click on choose click on ok now additional drive has been added just power on this server again I have powered on this server so <clears throat> it will take some time to log in so now my server is powering on okay once the um, login window pop up then we will have to attach that drive as a local drive okay as a e drive or d drive or if you want uh, any kind of other letter you can select that one okay for the backup purpose so whenever you want to backup uh, active directory database you can backup to that drive only okay so it is taking little bit more time So I have logged into my server and if you open computer management see guys if I open com my computer I won't be able to see additional drive here to attach that additional drive as a lo logical vol volume on my server what I will have to do click on tools open computer management and uh, under the computer management you just have to select disk management okay okay so here you will be able to see on allocated space okay so what you will have to do just you will have to right click on this unallocated space okay and click new simple value volume okay so space will be 15 GB only E drive I'm going to select E drive for backup purpose click on next if you want to change your volume name you can change here I will keep this as a backup and click on next so drive will get attached to this server let me just open see guys the drive is visible now we have 15 GB free space drive is available on our server so we can start backup now let me just open click on tools windows server backup console i'm sorry click on windows server backup click on local backup 
and uh, at the right side you can see local uh, local back under the local backup backup schedule and backup once and recover so we are going to select backup once option to backup only single time okay and next in next video i am i will uh, show you how to schedule backup okay i will select here different options click on next uh, so here guys i am just going to backup active directory database that's why i am going to select custom and if you want to backup a, a entire server then you can select full full server server okay click on next and from here you just need to add system state so under the system state your database uh, active directory database uh, will be backed up okay so uh, system states uh, if you select system state that will back up your active directory syswall gpos then uh, your uh, uh, if you have iis installed on your system that database will also get uh, backed up I, even if you have ca server is configured on your server that database will also get backed up under the system state okay and uh, i okay that's it and click on next uh, where do you want to backup on local drive or remote drive as uh, we have added local drive then we are going to select only local drives only click on next here i have selected e drive click on next system state and start backup so guys it will take some time to have a backup first time okay it will uh, take uh, max to max uh, 10 minutes okay so once this backup starts i will pause my video and i will start my video again see guys backup has been started now okay if you look at here data transfer it is showing 89.03 mb okay so it will take uh, more time so i will pause my video and will start again See guys, backup has been completed 100%. Okay, so now our Active Directory database has been backed up successfully. See this window completed, completed. Okay, click on close and you can verify here. See backup completed and backup size is 7.28 GB. Okay, and status is successful. Start time in and end time will be displayed here okay so this is the way we can back up our active directory database and uh, in next video we are going to learn how to schedule active directory database okay so please like and subscribe if you like this video okay and uh, kindly subscribe for more videos okay and uh, next video will be 
for um, kind of scheduling Active Directory database backup. Okay, so do not miss to see that video. Thank you guys. Chalo, bye.